Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination, and don't mind my jacket behind me, and some stuff for sewing, um, because I'm getting ready, let me flip the camera, ah, no, it won't let me flip the camera, anyway, I'm getting ready right here to cut out my fabric. Um, that only took a picture of me. Uh, but, uh, I don't know if this will let me flip the cam. Yeah. Hold on. Apparently not. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, because I was hoping to be able to... Oh, sorry about that. I was hoping to be able to flip the camera so that... I, I, I'll just get down here and show you. Or just go like this. Anyway. So, I was trying to decide between two fabrics for my mock-up. Um, for my yellow dress pattern. Um, and it's mine. It's nobody else's. So, what I'm going to do is, if you've been following me long enough on my social media you know that this is a pre-lined fabric. I don't have to worry about no lining. I can cut the back pieces on one section and have it enough, you know, for the front. And uh, then, obviously, because I had cut some of this yardage for another person, um... And, uh, you know what? This year, let things go under the bridge. Otherwise, where's your soul going? Right? Anyway, that's not why we're here. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to follow along the lines of this leather jacket that ripped in. And, um, as you can see, the patterning right here on this leather jacket is like a corset backing. So what am I going to do with that? Of course, um, I'm actually going to use that as the back, you know, just the patterning, not the leather jacket that I took apart. Um, and use that as my template for the backing. And uh, I will mark that as soon as, like, you know, I'll cut some down, mark, and um, not cut too far because I want to make sure that I have enough of this for the skirting because that skirting is very important. Now, this is already washed, it's ready to sew, you know. So, <laughs> um, I do have the front panels right here. And I'm going to be looking at this and I'm like, isn't that a cop coat? It was sort of in that style of a biker jacket, which I love. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely love. And I say, here's the thing. I can always salvage the buttons off of this or just leave the buttons and the zipper on this because I do plan on putting this back together but with another fabric now if you're on my Instagram from my history bounders and everybody else that sews out there you will know that what you wear underneath your clothing makes a huge huge difference and how your clothes fit you. So I did change my brassiere. Um, obviously. Because um, I usually have my flesh colored one on. But I put this one on. Because I know I'm going to need to take measurements. Um, I might slide my one corset on. To do measurements. Because I'm going to put in um, a fabric to be a slimmer 
Okay, I have enough fabric for that. Now, I was looking at the other fabric that I put in my poll on Instagram. And it really is a forest green. Oh, my gosh. Run, forest, run! <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. So, I figured, okay, the gingham is the better man. I just have some sewing stuff right there. Um, yeah. So, uh, yesterday I sorted out some of my buttons, not all of them, um, and put my bigger buttons in one container. I use these containers, like, not just for food. You can get these for, like, real inexpensive. And sometimes just put your buttons in these. So convenient. Just size out which size of buttons you want in what container and store them. It's so convenient. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> you guys know I like being silly. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the fabric cut for the bodice. And then, you know, the whole bodice front and back. And then have enough for skirting. And we will see how this comes together. Be right back with that. Okay. And now that the fabric is actually fully laid out, this thing is huge, okay? I don't think I'm going to have any problems with going ahead and marking it out and having enough fabrics. And what I really, really want to say in this is um, always remember to make sure that when you're cutting something, that you're cutting it so that everything lines up. And don't forget that you have to make sure that when you're doing something like this, I always like to give myself a two inch seam allowance, which is why just now I had pulled this down by two of these. Each square is an inch. That is a great way to measure stuff. I think it is. I know what you're thinking, like, holy crap on a cracker, you're about to mark this on the outside. Now remember, this is Taylor's chalk. Taylor's chalk does indeed brush off and it washes off like so well. So we'll give ourselves that two inch seam allowance you're going to do a rolled pen and what I need to do right here is actually test and see which color of Taylor's chalk that's my blue one this is my white one which one's actually gonna mark this better for actually seeing it I think the blue may win in this situation, the blue may actually win. Uh, if you want to know, it's uncommonly warm in New Jersey. <laughs> I know uh, our clocks just sprung forward. But uh, still. Okay. And then again, bringing that out. Tuck that under. And just follow along. You just gave that a two inch seam allowance right there. Okay. And don't forget, here's something important is right here, you need to mark where that bodice part for the corseted backing actually starts. I'm not putting in any boning in this. If you want to know, there's going to be no boning ch channels in this. But I'm just making absolutely sure that everything is marked correctly. I want to make absolutely sure that it's going to be long enough. But at the same time, when you come up on the sides, 
what I want you to do is just flap this part back. So what I'm going to do here is mark out where I'm putting the difference between those two parts, basically. So that way we won't have any problems. And I'm going to use the fold here on the fabric as my stop point because, yes, I want the top part of the bodice to be long, but at the same time, um, I don't want it to be too long, you know, just mark it. Most of the time your fold right here from where you've had your fabric uh, folded up will be like your saving grace. So let me pause this, get the rest of this marked out, and I'll be right back. Okay, because I'm also posting this to Instagram, uh, I'll end up editing for that, but editing can be a pain in the boot. I'm just going to do this part real quick. And this is just the neck. And because this is our back panel. And yes, I did move down to the floor. Um, I want mine to be different than theirs. And that's why I'm doing this this way. So that they cannot try to get me for infringement. Um, you can't do that if it's my own. So... Anyway, I will move this back a bit so that you can see. And we might actually do this in, like, parts. Because this is the back, obviously. And now, yeah, I did cut this with a little bit of curve in it. And I'll show you one of my holding tools for fabric. I just took the wooden framing off of a cheap canvas and that's what I'm holding my fabric down with on this side or at least you know you can put it here while you're cutting there and it's pretty weighted I'm gonna use it for something else because I'm gonna be making my own bead loom so that I can do my beading for my regalia for the powwow this year so I'm invited to dance and most of the time you either have to be invited to dance and don't get that wrong. We do have to, you know, invite other people to dance at the powwow when they make their regalia. So, um, I will be using this as my bead loom framing. Um, because right now I have no way to go get a bead loom. And I'm not going to pay like 40 bucks for a bead loom when you can get a cheap frame and make it yourself. So, we'll be, we'll be back. Okay, now that we're back, and I did add a little lighting, but that didn't seem to help. Um, uh, never seems to help, does it? Okay, so I got the backing cut out. This is the back. I'm going to do this real quick because I have to put this on Instagram and they don't give you enough time. Um, this is the front right panel. No, that's the front left. I'm sorry. This is the front left. I keep thinking right and I marked it for the right. So this is the front right panel. And the other one is the front left. Because you know, you have to have your armpit hole. So I'll just remark that. I will I have to remark that. Here's a remark for it. This is your front right. F R. And we'll just redo this. And now that's pinned together. And I will be back with the next segment. So everybody stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and always stay blessed. And I will see you soon.